Okay, this will be an overview on how to use uh, Chord Pulse Lite. Um, I'll just go down through this quickly here. We have uh, a file menu where you can make a new file or you can open one that you've saved before. Uh, you can open some sample uh, files to hear what somebody else has done. You can save your work uh, in case you have to go uh, to dinner or something like that. And you can also make session notes and global notes. Uh, the edit is not too much. You've got history and things like that, transposition. You've got options for how you play, repeat all, repeat page, that kind of thing. Um, so you can explore through that. But essentially, you can get a new session going. You pick your style. I like this one. And you pick your chords. Uh, you can start playing in the middle. So I think you can see there you got four options there for playing. And uh, the way you would change a chord is to get in the upper half and double click. And then you can pick your chords. Uh, I'm going to use E minor as my start. Oh, let's use D minor. I'll use D minor. This is limited to uh, some basic chords. Uh, it doesn't have major sevens, uh, uh, augmented, and things like that. It just has a major minor, looks like the plus, uh, diminished, and seventh. And you've got inversion uh, buttons here, so you can invert the chords, get the lower end. Uh, get the higher notes to down to the bottom end. That's a whole different topic. And you can essentially play and stop here. And this one shows you the key you're in, in flats and sharps, okay, zero flats. Um, Anyway, I'm not sure I understand all of that one. Because um, you're picking your chords. you got a choice of 8 bars, 16 bars. You can also add a page if you want a second page. So you can have 32, you know, 16 bars per page. You could, uh, you could basically arrange an entire song with this. But uh, I just want to come up with a chord progression. And uh, we'll start with D minor, and I'll start working with it, and we'll see what we come up with here. So let's start it, and then I'll, I'll just not talk, because you can see what I'm doing. Um, my mouse is being captured, so here we go.
Okay, so essentially you can see what I did there. I uh, I just started adding chords and, you know, if I liked it, great. If I didn't, I changed it. Uh, I could take some of these away just by right-clicking and saying delete. Um, so it's, it's pretty self-explanatory than that. I'll give you a couple of examples on how uh, you might try a different... Uh, different style out and let's try uh, piano pyramid and see how that sounds slow it down Just for giggles, I'm going to see if I can split this twice. So I'm going to split it once, and then we'll see if we can split it again. Looks like it does not allow for that. Being the light version and all, that's probably why. But uh, anyway, let's do one more type of uh, maybe... Maybe... Uh, Chord Fairy. Well, let's try that one. I've never used it. Let's see what we get. Okay, so that's Chord Pulse Light. Uh, you could just fire it up and make a chord progression up and then use it to practice your flute too. Uh, you could use it to uh, arrange a song and then you could go into a DAW or whatever methods you use, play your instruments. Uh, but this is just a quick way without getting all your microphones and everything out. There's a quick way to take a listen to something and to see if your idea is going to sound good or not. So I hope you find that helpful and thanks for listening.